Well, I'm going to start with a little anecdote that hopefully we can, we can relate to. Before we go to industry specific, I was cleaning out my garage. Okay, and if your garage looks anything like my garage, there's stuff from years and years and years of trade shows. <laughs> you've got all the badges, you've got all the swag, you've got all the, all the stuff that you, get, that you get picked up, all the little squishy balls and stuff. I, I ran across a ball cap that I couldn't believe, okay? How many of you all remember Arthur Anderson? Okay. So Arthur Anderson, um, of course, was a highly respected, premier Ritz, if you will, consulting firm uh, and an accounting firm. Do you know what this, the ball cap said? It said, Arthur Anderson, helping you in ways you never imagined. <laughs> okay, so it's kind of laughable when you think about that, especially after what happened with them in terms of the way, all the creative ways they helped Enron. <laughs> right? And, and, and so you've got to look at that and just say, first of all, the fact that that ever became a tagline showed that they were so far away from their initial core proposition and their initial core values and core reason for being, they were a buttoned down, can you can trust with anything, accounting firm. And as soon as they started offering advice and offering creative accounting, and what, uh, their value proposition completely changed. So what that tells me in looking at a situation like that is that there was not an adequate measure taking place in terms of saying, how are we holding ourselves accountable to the message that we created? So I say that is internal branding failure. Okay? And so how, how is it, now we're going to go back to the industry here, so how is it that everyone in this room and everyone who's trying to work on their own business can make sure that they're maintaining brand integrity. Well, you have to take a, you have to take a look every day at, at your output and you have to have a 360 feedback loop for the type of service that you're, that you're providing. So are you sending out surveys to your customers? I hope you are. Are you sending out surveys to your vendors? I hope you are. Are you sending out surveys and questionnaires uh, to your business development team? Is your business development team getting feedback from their customers? Are you getting the information from a variety of sources to say, are we still living within this message that we developed? And I'll bet you'll be surprised. Some of the areas you're probably going to be delighted. Other areas I think you're going to be disappointed. And I think it's really important that you have the ability to get that information. And I'm not really big on good and bad. I think information is information. It's, not about, it's really not about the value you put upon it. It's what you do with that information. Arthur Anderson screwed themselves. And I don't think there's anybody in the room here that is, that is going to uh, be too upset about a consulting company going out of business. 